It's been a tradition ever since I've been here. We're in teams of two, and, and of course, there's going to be a winner, and so we have to have some kind of way to score that. And so there's a, there's a punch list of things that they need to do safely to perform a rescue. Another element of the judging is the speed of the rescue. We are taught that if you cannot uh, get to an unresponsive person in under five minutes, it becomes a recovery and not a rescue. And then we also throw in, we have a brand new state-of-the-art CPR dummy, and it scores all the compressions and all the respirations through five cycles of CPR. We average the score between the two teammates. They both do a cycle, and we take the average. We had, I think, if two, if not three teams were over uh, a 90%. Um, efficiency rate, which is which is excellent. The next step, um, they're required to go to the governor's safety conference and participate in the Washington State Bolt Up Rescue. And then they've also the top two teams have qualified, and, and the company will, will send them to Kansas City to compete in the International Lineman Rodeo, which will be in October. Um, I like working for the PUD um, because I like my office. My office is outside in the blue skies and the green grass of Grant County. Um, I like the nature of my work. It's physical, it's somewhat athletic, but you have to have some intelligence and that's how you stay alive. And I like the, I like the men I work with.